Oh, YouTube, it is with again. My name is David Vicola, coach of the South Texas Save Lice, and this is going to be week eight of the WBE. We are coming down on the final stretch of the WBE. I think there are 13 weeks in the, you know, the standard season. Uh, so this is week eight out of uh, 13. Our, our opponent, I can't talk. Our opponent this week is Iron Boffin, coach of the Rochester Ride-Ons. Uh, you saw the team we're bringing. We're bringing an expert belt, Mew. Uh, defensive Bulu, kind of, I've just been like in this defensive Bulu grind, a Nitto King with uh, Toxic Spikes, three moves, double stab plus Thunderbolt, a Expert Belt, Galvantula to set up Sticky Webs, a sort of like Rest Talk, Scald, Circle Throw, Polyrath, so like a really lame set, like a really lame set to try and counter uh, Boff's team, and then uh, Megagron, like a big, big boy. Uh, Boff has access to Weavile, Staraptor, Suicune, Jolteon, Metagross, Shaman, Blaziken, Rhydon, Spiritomb, and Altaria, Mega. I didn't get to say all those before this happened. Uh, so let's see. What did he not bring? Uh, the Metagross didn't come, which I think is kind of neat. Uh, the Shaman didn't come, which is really neat. Because that means Mew can kind of just clean up in the late game. Uh, if I can get... I'm going to lead off with this. This might be like a super predicted lead. Uh, but... Uh, I'm going to lead off with my Mega Aggron here. Um, I, I So if my Mew can get to a point where I can set up a Rock Polish, Mew probably just cleans up. Uh, I need to get my Rocks up really soon. If he has a Defogger, it's probably the Altaria. Um, the Suicune is a massive threat, so I need to be mindful of it. I can set up webs in front of the Suicune, uh, the Altaria, the Blaziken... Probably not. The Star is probably Choice Scarf would be my guess here. Uh, would be my guess. I can probably also set up webs in front of Jolteon. I'm just trying to think like, because getting, uh, getting like multiple layers of hazards up is really, really good for me this week. Like for instance, uh, Bulu has enough speed to where if webs are up, I can outspeed the Jolteon. And after rocks, I should always be able to kill. Uh, with, It's like a really weird set. Uh, it doesn't have like a ton of... Uh, a ton of attack. I think it has. I think it has almost no attack investment, honestly. Uh oh, this isn't the set that I'm supposed to be using for Bulu. Oops. And I oop. Alright, where's my I have a paste open that I need to have so I can do profitable calcs here. Alright, this was a pretty pretty like predictable lead. It feels like he has to switch out, right? Like what's this switch into just a heavy slam though? All right, hold on. Let me get my paste up real quick so that I can uh, have the proper Bulu set. Because I was like, think I was like dirtling between two different Bulu sets. So let me just put this one in really quickly. Uh, let me just name it Brome C for correct import. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm 100% Mega evolving here. Um, but feels like he almost has to switch out, right? Let's look at a like just a standard choice scarf Staraptor. Uh, close combat does thirty two percent. I feel like I can just get my rocks up here, right? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna get my rocks up. Getting rocks up is like a huge part of my plan. He might stay in and CC, uh, but we should eat that, and then it's almost like. What are you going to do after that? You know what I mean? Just goes for the U-turn. Okay. All right, cool. So getting rocks up is probably the right play here. Uh, clicking heavy slam was probably, like, probably would have been a little bit of a stretch. I was saying he's going to go out to the Blaziken here. This Blaziken might be a defog set, but mm, I might can just kill it. Or it's probably Z. It's probably Z, right? Like if he's fire Z. How much is this going to do to my Polyrath? Not much. What is this? Mm. This is an interesting switch. Mm, feels like I can just go hard Galvantula here. Or I can go on a Polyrath and predict a Scald. Let's do that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go on a Polyrath here. Since he doesn't have Shaman, Mew looks really, really solid as a cleaner in the late game. So I can kind of be a little bit. I wouldn't say like willy nilly with my sets. Yeah, yeah. So we eat this up. So I'm just going to go for a circle throw here. 
This kind of scouts to see if he has, like, he might go for protect, he might go for sub. Uh, I guess sub wouldn't be great, but if he's the mono scald set, then Polyrath just hardwalls this thing. Which is why I'm going for circle throw here. Because if he switches out, uh, then we just get, like, I don't know, like, residual chip on something, which could be super dope. <clears throat> Having rocks up feels feels really strong here. I think even if this thing, I think even if this Suicune has like an attack, it would have to be like I think it would have to be like Psychium Z to take out my Polyrath, something like that. Like I was calculating with extra sensory, uh, and if it's like no special attack investment, like a weird calm mindset, it's like all bulk, no special attack. Like, okay, yeah. So he just withdraws. So we're gonna actually get some. Uh, some pretty good, I would imagine, chip here. Oh, yeah. Because this thing's going to have to take rocks twice. That's crazy if this connects. Oh, yes. Get out. I command you to get up out. This is such a good position for me. Holy. Oh, wow. Because, like, what are you going to do? Switch out and get circle third again? He didn't bring Shaman. He brought Jolteon. He's just like waiting for like a profitable switch. If he lets this thing die, then Mew just kind of like snacks on his entire team. Like I don't think there's anything that really threatens Mew if he just like lets this thing die to a circle throw. So he just has to switch out here, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Take the rocks. Catch the circle throw. Alright, so we're, we're losing circle throw PP at an alarming rate now. Eventually, he'll go out into something. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. He, he landed. He hit well this time. All right. So, let's go ahead and just go right on out into the Mega Aggron here. There's probably not a lot he can do to me. Even if he's, like, max special attack fire blast. He might defog here. I would be okay with that line. I'm just going to set up rocks again, 100%. Goes for roost. Interesting. I just go for a heavy slam here. Like, nothing wants to come in and eat it. Yeah, let's go for a heavy slam here. He might just go out in a Suicune. Ugh. All right, so we've got chip on the sweet, a little bit of chip on the sweet coon. I'm assuming he's leftovers. Uh, we've got a little bit of chip on the sneasel. It'll be at fifty percent when it comes in. Excuse me. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really, this is a really like nerve wracking game to prep for. I know Both hasn't had the greatest season so far, but I also know he's really good. Aurora just goes back out in the Suicune, man. He's like, uh, he's pretty adamant on the Suicune, the Suicune life. Feels like I can just go back out in a Polyrath there, right? Uh, does two damage. So he's not, uh, he is not, let's, let's make a read here. Let's go out into this Aragog so we can get up webs. Uh, we can almost assuredly get up webs on the switch. Would be my guess here. Um, I, ha I don't know. I'm playing this a little willy nilly. Like he could do a lot of things here. Like could set up a sub. Just use his rest. So he's rest. Is he resto chesto? Rest sleep talk. Calm mind scald. That doesn't feel particularly great here. No, he's not chesto very. What is your what is your ability, friend? Feels like he has to switch out, right? He brought the jolty on, so let's just set up sticky webs. Yep, yep, yep. Out into the jolts. Get my webs up. Now Nitto King feels like a real a real win condition. Our Nitto King feels like a very real win condition now. 
Uh, what's my play here? Um, hmm. I can go for a bug buzz on this thing. See what he's going for. Mm -mm -mm. If he goes for a shadow ball. Okay. So I don't want to go out into, uh, I think I just go for a bug buzz here. Because the goal should be to force this thing out, right? Yeah, yeah, let's just go for a bug buzz. Getting up webs is like, all right, he just goes for a volt switch. Do you take damage? No. What is your, What are your sets? I need, maybe it's Shaka. Could be Shaka. Shaka would make a lot of sense here. He has to be a little concerned because I just stayed in. Uh, the Altaria seems like a strong line, though. The Altaria definitely seems like a strong line. Feels like there's not a lot of things he can go out into. Yeah, I was going to say, this has got to be one of them. Because, I mean, he resists both my stabs. And he can probably go for a... Uh, probably go for um, Defog, right? I, I would assume. Let's go ahead and switch out into Nitto King Because absolutely nothing wants to switch into it. And I think it's pretty unlikely he goes for an Earthquake here. All things considered. I mean, this could be really, really bad for me, actually. I probably just should have gone out into Mega Agron. Because if he caught me on the switch here, I could get super destroyed. Okay, just goes for Roost. All right, did he even bring a Steel type? I need to... I didn't even snip his team. I didn't even snip his team. He didn't bring his Metagross. I can just go for the freest poison job of my life. All right, where's my snipping tool at? Move this over here. New. All right. Okay. So I can go for the freest poison job in my life right now. And he just doesn't have a fantastic switch into it. Like, he doesn't have a switch into it, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for the, the freest sludge wave of my life. It should always kill this thing. And if this thing's this defogger, girl. <laughs> if this thing's this defogger, I feel like uh, I'm so far ahead at this point. Like he has to, he has to like 100%, 157%. He has to be able to remove my sticky webs for Nitto King not to just like kind of clean up here. You know what I mean? I don't know why I'm asking. Like you can respond to me, uh, but he has to be able to like remove my hazards. And I think Blaziken gets defog, but he can't switch Blaziken in on my Nitto King right now. My Nitto King will just like decimate it. Oh my god, did he just let this thing drop? If this is his defogger. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Don't paralyze me! <laughs> oh my god, everything is good in the world. Whew! Whew! Okay, let's do it again. He's a super bulky boy. Very, very bulk much wow. Ooh, nice voice crack, idiot. Nice voice crack, idiot. <laughs> All right, so the, feels like the bird has to come in here. Like has to. Everything else just, uh, no, no, no that's not true. Um. Sneasel can, or not Sneasel, Weavile can come in. Why do I pronounce one? Whatever. Is that what this is? Oh, no, it's just this thing. Does he just go for a U-turn here? I'm 100% going to go out into my, uh, my Mega Aggron here. We don't know if he's choice locked. If, if he's choice banned. Ooh, nice voice crack, idiot. <laughs> I cannot talk without uh without all my 
about my voice cracks happening. If he's choice banned, does he two hit KO my uh, my Mega Agron? Feels like he almost has to go for uh, CC, right? I mean, if he predicts me to, I mean, like, if he went for CC and I stayed in, I would just kill this, and then Nato King would get a six-zero sweep, presumably. No, 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 that's not true. We all could still have Ice Shard. We all could still have Ice Shard. Have Ice Shard. Also, I guess this thing could be Scarf Defog, um, which would be, you know, upsetting to me, honestly. I think it's choice locked in some form or fashion. It is. It's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know if it's choice, but it's definitely a, a defogger here. All right, let's get our rocks back up. I could have just killed this thing. Let's get our rocks back up, and then I'm gonna roar when he switches into the Suicune. I realize I'm playing a really slow game, but this is like, my best way of breaking down a lot of his threats. This earbud is ruining my life currently. I mean, I don't even think it's super bad if I eat a burn here. Probably. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get a roar going on. I'll see you next time. So he can probably hit. If he uses Sleep Talk, which I'm assuming he will. Then I will find, I mean, assuming he doesn't random into rest again, I'll have a little bit of information on what uh, his set is. Because if it just scald, then I think I can presume that Poly, Polyrath just like hard walls this thing. Either way, it's not like, I don't know, he can't like, oh, okay. What's your, uh, what's your switch in? I don't think you're going to be too fond of this. I feel really bad. I feel like I'm making this game incredibly unfun. Oh my god. <laughs> I snorted. Oh man, I snorted aggressively. Uh, okay, let's go for Earthquake here. He can't switch in the bird, right? It's just not a switch. Let's go for Earthquake here. He has to switch out. All right. Just eating up my EQ PP. We're losing Earthquake power points at an alarming rate. I'm gonna stay in and roar. Like I don't think that's a I don't think that's a misplay here. Has he even been on the field asleep for two turns yet? I cannot tell. I, I think he wakes up next turn. Sleep talks in a scald rest. That's unfortunate. I don't think he has anything left besides like maybe Blaziken that can try to even try to break this. All right, I'm just gonna go for heavy slam. Cause if I kill this thing, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My game plan is really probably not super fun to watch this week. How many comments am I going to get saying, like, I can't believe you stalled? <laughs> uh, if he just goes for defog again, I think that's, like, best case scenario for me, right? Because we get to take this thing out. The Mega Altaria is no longer alive. Like, it's getting to the point where uh, Mew just kind of wins. Oh, he just goes for U-turn. He's choiced in some form or fashion, for sure. Hasn't even gone for a Brave Bird yet. <laughs> Wild. Ooh, ooh, stop, stop. What's wrong with you? If I could stop having all these voice cracks, I can't. What have I done recently to expend my voice so much? Nothing? Just actual nothing? Alright, let's get it let's get in top of Bulu. It's time. <laughs> it's it's time to, to get in the Bulu. Is it? Probably. It's gone, to, it's gone to a clean little Bulu here. Feels like... I think this is his second turn being asleep. I'm not just going to sit here and keep, like, uh, roaring in and out. 
That doesn't get me very far. Like, if he scalds me and burns me, even, I, I don't super care. That's, yeah, your sleep talk turns have not been great, friend. I think he just has to switch out here. Click sub. What if he's teching hidden power poison? I've only seen sleep talk, rest, and scald. I guess it could be ice beam, which I think... I'm, Pretty sure we eat one ice beam for sure. Am I sure about that? Am I sure about that? Hmm. I mean, I'm already in, so we're we're already living. Like has to be calm mind, right? As like the last move slot. Ice Beam would do 36 to 42% if he's like bulk invested. And I think we would outspeed. This is my standard uh, breakdown things that I can't normally break down, Bulu. We're just trying to break down things that I can't normally break down. <laughs> Oh man, it feels like he doesn't even really have a switch into this thing. Uh, right? He stayed in. What's gonna happen? So I'm, I am faster. What's happening? <laughs> what is this? I see. Well, it sucks that. You you did this, and I'm behind a sub. I mean, it doesn't suck for me, but it sucks for you. I think I can kill this thing, right? For sure, now. Right? Like, he has to be pretty, uh, pretty defensive for me just not to kill him with Horn Leech right here. Uh, so I think we just go for it. He doesn't have like a fantastic switch into it anyways All right, so he does have ice beam this thing's hard walled by polyrath though like super duper hard walled like so walled that it can't ever really get anything going I Wish I just clicked horn leech there honestly I was subbing on the switch you always sub on the switch it doesn't have a great switch into this. The Weavile for sure dies. The Jolt dies. The Blaziken lives. If this thing goes down, what am I threatened by at that point? Yeah, you just don't have a switch into this thing, honestly. It's a little unfort. Like, something's gonna die here. Except the Blaziken. The Blaziken gets to live. The Blaziken gets to live and then gets hard walled, presumably by Polyrath. Interesting. There's a world where this Blaziken wins the game, maybe? I don't think so, though. Because if I have to, I can just sack Bulu off. Just go into the Blaziken finally. Oh no, he's just sacking this off. That's fine. I am completely fine with this sack. 100%. Uh, this just means Mew gets to go in. Like, super in. Like, Mew gets to go so far in. <laughs> this Jolt has a... This Jolteon has a Shuckaberry, I'm pretty sure. I'm, like, pretty close to sure that this Jolt has a Shuckaberry. Feels like he goes Bird here. Bird or Blaziken? Bird has two switch-ins left total. And Blaziken hasn't hit the field yet, so we have zero information about its set. It can't be a Z set, though, because the Suicune was Ice Z. What's this? Okay, so he does go for the bird. Alright. Watch this super clean, super fire switch into some Mega Agron. I probably could have stayed in predicting a U-turn, honestly. Probably. Oh, he, he makes the he makes the read. It shouldn't do much. Uh, and I feel like he's locked into that now, right? 
Oh yeah, I'm going Mew. 100%. This is uh, what you would call Mew's time to shine. And I guess he like probably feels like he can't even switch this thing out. I'm gonna go for rock polish, and that should be game. We even got a turn of recovery. Oh my god. All right. I think this is probably game. I don't know what uh, health his Suicune is at, but I'm at least gonna break through a ton of his team right now. And he switches. Ah. Okay. Oh yeah, this might this might just be game. I didn't know what health this thing was at, but this might just be game. Does the Mew pull off the 4-0 sweep? It depends on how bulky this thing is. All right, Thunderbolt first. All right, one down. What you got? What do you have left? The Jolt, I think, is holding Shucka. We should be able to live a Shadow Ball, though. I think the Jolt is holding, holding a Shucka. All right, yeah, yeah. We live a Shadow Ball, for sure. For sure, for sure. The Blaziken, I think, dies on, like, die if it's, like, a standard, like, offensive set, at least. Does this thing get knockoff? If he's no bulk, where he, like, Earth Power is guaranteed to Oko after, uh, after rocks. And then... Alright, cool. I think this kind of like, I feel like this locks up the game for us, right? Oh, this thing's just dead. Like, even if he's scarfed, he's dead. Just like burning a turn here. Seeing if maybe I like EV'd improperly. I think I, I only needed 44 speed IVs to outspeed this thing after being uh, rock polished up. Franklin. I think this thing is Shucka, because we didn't see an item. I guess it could be Expert Belt, but I think he's Shucka. I guess he could be Scarf, too. If this is Scarf, I don't outspeed. If this is Scarf, you almost feel like he'd just play the Quick Feet set, though. It's not Shucka. I don't, maybe it was Expert Belt, or maybe it was like Zap Plate. Unclear. I think we, I think this just like cleans up here. I mean, it could be super wrong. Like, the Blaziken could eat. The Blaziken could eat if it has bulk investment. But even still, like, I doubt you two hit KOS. Or you might two hit KOS, but I doubt you live two hits, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. All right, yeah, the Blaziken's down. And then what's left? Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Okay, GG Boffin. That was a good game, man. Um, sorry, my strategy was really, really boring to play against, I'm sure. Also, I know Both is sick right now. Uh, like, we're playing kind of late in the day because he's just been napping. He's got, like, the NyQuil flowing through his system. So, definitely go check out Both's side. Show him some love. Um, that was a good game. 100%. Uh, the Mew set was, like, cursory. Cursory? Is that the word? That's not the word you're looking for here. It was, uh, provided by Ultra Player. I, what, what am I trying to say here? Cursory it was... I don't care. It doesn't matter. Words don't matter. The, the words only matter if you want them to. Uh, the set, the Mew set was by Ultra Player, and it was really, really good. It turned out really good. Um, the rest of the team, I kind of like, I kind of built around the Mew set that Ultra Player decided to throw me, and we just needed to be able to bop the Shaman. Uh, the Shaman, and we needed Chip on the Metagross. So the fact that neither of those two things came is kind of nuts. So shout out to Ultra Player for the dope set. Uh, shout out to Bah for the great game. Thanks for playing even while you were sick. It would have been really easy to just say like, hey, take the win, man. So you are the real MVP here. Um, this takes us to five and three and takes our differential to 
uh, pretty high, I think. It takes my differential to 18, I believe. So we're five and three at plus 18, which is really good. It, that puts me in really strong contention for uh, for a, a pretty sick playoff run. So again, good game, Bothan. Thank you so much for playing, even though you're sick. Guys, if you enjoyed this, even though it was a little bit of a stally game <laughs> plan, uh, definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. Uh, if you hated it, let me know. I, I love hate comments too. And when I say love, I mean literally I'll, I'll heart them. I think they're fun. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed this. If I get a lot of dislikes on this video, I'll know that people hate it when you set up hazards and you're roaring things in and out or circle punching. Uh, let's see. What else? Leave a like uh, or dislike. Leave a nice comment or a mean comment. Subscribe to me. Even if you hated it, I can tell that you didn't like it. So if you subscribe and you hated the, the video, I can tell. Like it, it, I get a notification that says, like, this person subscribed to you out of spite. And those sting me deeply. St they stab me. I don't care. Words don't matter. So just subscribe no matter what. <laughs> uh, follow me on my socials. My Twitter and Instagram link are in the description down below. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thanks to Ultra Player for the set. Also thanks to uh, Dr. Slacking. He also provided me with some pretty pretty clean insight. Uh, the circle throw Polyrath was uh, more of his doing. So I should say shout out to both those guys. They're both really great uh, and they help me build, you know, not every week here lately. I've been trying to like free ball it a little bit, uh, but they do both help. So um, shout out to them. And then, you know, it just means the absolute most that you've decided to spend some time here watching me. But uh, I'm kind of done here. My name is Vivicolor and, uh, you know, love you, but I got to leave. Bye. Hey.